community in the Upper Valley working to improve the downtown's curb appeal with a new mural. NBC 5's John Hawks checked in with organizers and volunteers about what this art installation means to the community. There's about to be something new to look at in downtown White River Junction, a community mural on the side of Cover Home Repair's building. It's important for us to make this a community mural, and so that meant that the design was community driven and that the painting was also done by community volunteers. Cover is a nonprofit that helps complete urgently needed home repair projects for vulnerable homeowners in the Upper Valley, and their building is in downtown White River, with a blank brick wall leading into the shopping district where the artwork is being commissioned. The mural will greet people as they come into town and depicts the village's history. From the very start, we wanted to speak to the sense of place in White River Junction. So it's a train town. Uh, it's a junction with uh, between two rivers. And so what you'll see in the mural is some water and you'll see uh, two references to trains. When it's done, it will be about 60 feet long, incorporating aspects of the existing building into the artwork with imagery of different generations representing the present and future and all the people who call this area home. The people who live here, my concept is you live in, in Spanish is mean you live with your emotion and you live with your story and you live with the landscape. On Wednesday, Hartford High School's AP Spanish class, among those out helping to paint. My favorite part, probably getting 15 feet up there on the ladder, using the stick with the paintbrush on the end, reaching the hard to get spots. The volunteers are already looking forward to the finished product. White River Junction has changed a lot in, you know, since I've been a kid here. Um, and so I think it's a great addition to the place and I'm really excited to just see what it looks like down here. When the project is done, hundreds of people will have contributed to the painting. And there's a planned event in the middle of June to unveil the community artwork. In White River Junction, John Hawks, NBC5 News.